the Sneak Next back tonight. I don't know, Pardus 2009.1. Pardus from Turkey, and this is the live CD because this one don't come with an installer. Bit of a bummer, so I've got to do it in the box. I ain't done that for a while. So this is the Captain. Now the Captain guides you through installing and setting the old desktop up. So we go, we click Next. How do you want your mouse? Double or single? I'll go with single. Good for me. So we click Next. Customize your desktop. You just choose one, you know what? That one looks good enough to me. We'd have cherry blossom. So yeah, click it and click next. Once you click next, you can choose your menu style. Now I'm just gonna leave it as that. Now next is choose your wallpaper. Get quite a few here on the live CD. There is another CD out there for installation. I'm not sure if it has English support, because it's normally only Turkish. But I'm gonna have that one because I can't pronounce it. And we'll click next. And what I'll have next, it'll go to network. So basically, all we do here is create a profile. Now I'm on a wire connection here, so I've just clicked the me thingy. And I'm going to call it home. That'd be fine. I'm going to scroll down, apply. And you wait a few seconds, and you wait a few seconds more, and you wait a few seconds more. Remember, it's a live CD, by the way. Just click the, click the box, and it does its job, basically, and gets your old network manager again. You go down, see down the bottom there, there we are, it started to work, and we're connected to the internet. Super. So next, this is the one they want information from your system. Now I ain't going to do this one because it's just a live CD and it's in the box, so I wouldn't really give them too much information really. So I'll click next again, it's just a summary. I'm going to click next one more time, and whoosh, we're back into the desktop. Now I'm not sure if I wanted my bar up there. Or not. Remember, it's KDE 4.4.3. This one, lots of KDEs coming out recently. Yeah, loads and loads. I'll go for it. Basic launcher, desktop, last plugged in device. That's the live CD, of course. Before desktops are there, you can have as many as you want, as you know. Sound, your clipperboard, notifications, no notifications, internet, and there's your time and date, lock and log out, etc. etc. And one is for KD bar, and you can just do the high, add your widgets, add your spaces, locks, more settings. We've been through that the past couple of distros, haven't we? So I ain't gonna do that no more. And you just get bored like I would. So yeah, get rid of that. So that's gone. What should we do first? Okay, we'll go to the menu. Then favourites. It's basic, really. Basic KDE. Web browser, contact, copet, Amrock. I like Amrock. Not as good as Ribbon Box, but I like Amrock. Education, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, settings, systems, utilities, and a host of other stuff. So I'm going to click utilities, archiving stuff, you know, we'll scroll down. There's some specific stuff for parters here that they put in themselves. I think the hex editor is one of them. And I think if you get the full install, you'll get a lot more of their own stuff. Now I see this one in this mobile phone suite. I thought, oh yeah, that's good. Let's give it a go. Bear in mind, run a live CD here in the box. I thought, ooh, and it went, bummer, didn't like that one at all, so I just got rid of that one, hmm, never mind, okay, we'll start again with something else, we'll go back to the menu, back to applications, what else should we do, oh no, utility, that system we'll go to, yeah, there we go, look, plenty there, etherape, or etherape, drop down terminal, dolphin is your file manager by the way, as it would be, keynote still there, free info centre, KD partition manager, etc., Loads of stuff there, all on the CD. It's only a live CD though, they've missed out their Yarly installer, it seems, on the one I've downloaded. Now Yarly is their installer and it runs really nice. As I've done Pardus quite a while ago, if you go back from my videos, it runs okay. Office is basically open office, so you get all the open office stuff, nice, and some extra add ons. We'll go to more applications as well. Get your database, all open office, all there, so you can get your job done. You know, this is just probably the CD they put out, or the ISO they put out, just so you have a good look at it and see what we want. They jack on, they've got to work on several distros, so I'm not even going to bother, but it's all there. Loads and loads and loads of stuff. And as you know, there's loads and loads to install. So, what we do, I've got the browser. Whoosh. Look at that, straight into the English room. <clears throat> as you can see, it tells you all about it. Now, there's the Turkish section. Now, I wish I could read Turkish here, because there's more information than what I'd like to know. But I know something about Catty. K 
Catty is one of the things they're developing at the moment for a 2010 pilot, which uh, I'm going to wait for, I think. So what I'm going to do, go to the Bubba as usual, make sure Firefox is working. It will be, because it's in KDE. KDE, what am I talking about? I'll go straight to the news page, see how long it takes to load. Not long at all. That's nasty, isn't it? Bad, 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 bad. But yeah, comes up nice, isn't it? Comes up nice. We'll go back to the main page of the BBC. Does iPlayer work? Well, all modern versions of Firefox all have it in in there, really, in the jobby bit. So we'll click there. Yes, new Doctor Who. I'm not even going to click it, so you're going to have to wait until you can watch it in your country. I'm like that, and I'm nasty sometimes. Anyway, down with the Fox. There's not too much more to show you, really, because it's KDE. But there's everything there for a system. And if you want something a little bit different, or you're a Turkish speaker, say for instance, it could be for you. There's lots of Turks all over the world, as we all know. System settings is basic KDE, but they've done their own thing with it. It looks a little bit different, but it's okay. It does, does the job, doesn't it? We'll go to Advanced. There we go. Or we'll Start Desktops. You've seen it all before, so I'm not going to plow on it. This is a really quick look for you. So if you want to give it a try, you can download the RSO yourself and give it a go. On the whole, Pardus is very good. Put your back no Yarly installer, though. I really wanted to install it. But hey, can't have everything, can we? Can't have everything. Anyway, I like it. If you've got the time to download it and give it a try, do it. Sneaky, Linux, going out. See you later.